It's a, a celebration of our ongoing Twinning Cities relationship, um, but also it, uh, so it's looking forward, but also looking backward. So we look backward and we celebrate some of the events that happened during World War II. Uh, so we recognize some of uh, our local legionnaires uh, and legion members, but we also have some dignitaries from the Netherlands come. Uh, this year we're lucky enough to have the mayor of Appledorn uh, coming as well as the consul general of the Netherlands. Uh, but our theme is about friendship and it's about being good friends and, and global cities going forward. So it's how do we continue to foster that relationship and, and be able to uh, continue things like the exchange with students, the exchange with adults. In October 2019, the Dykstra family hosted Miriam Houlihy as part of the student exchange. All of the kids that came over on the exchange had so many questions about what high school was like and if it's really like what it looks like in the movies and if we have homecoming and all of this stuff. And I think they were like pleasantly surprised. It's just very fun to see what what the differences are here and it's it's so much bigger in Canada and the, even like the 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 ways when people go travel and here in the Netherlands it's like when you travel an hour by car that's very far. So we got to like go up to Muskoka to my friend's cottage for Thanksgiving weekend and to show her like the vastness of the country the fact that you have to drive four hours just to get a little bit north in Ontario was mind-boggling and then also just the fall colors and everything that they don't really have in the Netherlands. There's something about Canada I'm like oh yeah I've been there and uh, I've, I've got a friend over there I've got a nice family that I know there. The girls friendship has sparked virtual friendship between the families. And it's been great to communicate and be able to continue that friendship and get their perspective from you know half a world away. You know, we talk about the uh, the Dutch things and or the Canadian thing when the Canadian soccer team is in or when Max is, is racing in his Formula One or whatever, you know, it's it's kind of the, the the usual cultural things that you that you exchange and that you share. But 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 the basis of it all is really the fact that you know they have been taken care of your daughter so so nicely. Unfortunately, Olivia's reciprocal visit to Appledorn was cancelled because of the pandemic. She's looking forward to making that trip this summer. It, it ties into learning about diversity. It ties into learning about other culture. Uh, it makes us all more empathetic. Uh, so if that's something that we can be teaching the youth when they're young, uh, letting them have that experience, I think that they'll take that with them all throughout their lives. But and even though we had all these like differences in terms of like, who spoke what language and who could um, drive and all like random things like this just it was really interesting to see like we're all just people so I feel like it, my perspective in terms of global relations is kind of just that's opened my eyes to seeing how everyone is the same we're all the same we're all trying to do the same things in life but we just come from different places which is really cool. You can celebrate international friendship and the 18th anniversary of the twinning of Burlington and Appledorn this Saturday at the Burlington Performing Arts Centre. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.